In this video, I want to give you an introduction to the WooCommerce REST API. An API is a way for you to access the data inside your WooCommerce store, not necessarily from within WooCommerce. So that data is exposed and it can be used in other services. So some examples of REST API I've worked on. I worked with a company who built their own mobile app. So we use the REST API from WooCommerce to show products in the app, add to cart, um, get prices and all that kind of good stuff. Another project I worked on, they wanted to grab the order data from WooCommerce and integrate that with their finance system. So WooCommerce exposes all the order information. So they made a call into that, grabbed the order information and automatically imported it into their finance system. Another one, uh, people want to, a customer wanted to integrate their CRM, the Customer Relationship Management System, with the customers that ordered from WooCommerce. So the customers are also exposed in the API. So let's have a look what's available to us. So this is a tool called Postman. It allows us to send requests into the API to authenticate and to get that data back. So I've set up uh, four endpoints we can have a look at. We're going to get the cart, we're going to get some products, we're going to get the orders, that's not listed there, and we're going to get the customers as well. So let's look at getting products first of all. So what we're doing is we're calling this endpoint here. So WP Jason, WooCommerce, version three, products. So when you send a request to that, that's properly authenticated, it will bring us back a list of all the available products. So let's run that now. So I'm connecting to my dev site and here's my list of products. So I've got reduced WooCommerce checkout friction. Let's just go to, sh to the store so you can see what it looks like in the front end of WooCommerce. So we've got just these 10 products I created on my dev store. So one about abandoned cart recovery, social proof, upsells and reduced checkout friction. So there's the reduced checkout friction. It brings back an awful lot of data. <laughs> and there's, there's the next one. Abandoned cart recovery. We've got the product type, whether it's published, the descriptions, we've got some prices, we've got the SKU, that kind of stuff. Now to get this data, it has to be authenticated. We could send in a username or password if we wanted to, but I've used a consumer key and a consumer secret. So if we go to the back end of WooCommerce, go to settings, and then advanced, and then REST API. We can set up these keys, so that's the key I've created. It, the keys are in place of username and password, so obviously I'm going to revoke this key as soon as I've created this video, so you can't get in, but let's add a key. So we have a description. We can, we can associate that with user. So we've only got one user on this site at the minute, so it's to me. And that key then inherits my permissions on the site. So if I was a customer, I wouldn't be able to recover things like customer details, order details, that kind of stuff. But I could perhaps look at my cart and look at the product details. And then a key pair can be read, read write only, read only, or read and write. Generate that key and I get these two unique key pairs. So I'll pass those in as parameters here. And the site knows that if it's got the appropriate consumer key and secret key, it's authenticated as me and returns a list of products. I can filter what I bring back. So I can pass in the SKU parameter, for example, or I can pass in the product ID and that would filter what's returned. So that should just bring me the abandoned cart, which has an SKU of AB cart like that. So what could you use 
products for. I think I've already mentioned it. I worked on a, a mobile app project and they went to WooCommerce, grabbed all the products and output them in the app. So let's get the customers. Again, very similar. So the, U, the URL for that is WP Jason, WC for WooCommerce version three customers. Click on send and it brings back a list of all the customers. There's only one customer on my development site. That's me again. So there you have it there. User roles customer. Like that. Let's look at the orders now. Again, we're building up a pattern. It's very similar. So our URL is WPJSON WCV3 orders. Again, passing in that consumer key. Click send and it brings back a list of the orders I've got. So there's order ID and the customer. And then we should get a list of line items that were in the order. So I ordered that abandoned cart recovery product by the looks of it. If we remove the consumer key and secret and try to do the same call, that's a protected endpoint, so we don't get any information back. Like that. The cart is also exposed. So if I get the cart. So a cart is linked to a user. So this is my cart at the minute. So there's nothing in the cart. If I go to the shop and add that abandoned cart recovery, then get my cart. There we have it. There's the contents of my cart there at the moment. So that's a quick introduction to the WooCommerce REST API. I'll send you a link to this, which documents all of the available endpoints. So we've got things we can look for customers, uh, coupons, customers, orders, refunds, products, variable products, product attributes, the list goes on. We can get Things about tax rates, shipping zones, payment gateways, etc., etc. So I'll include a link to this in the description of this video. But that's a quick overview of the WordPress API. So if you're thinking about doing some integration with other services, this is probably where you need to look. If you have any questions about that WooCommerce REST API, please get in touch.